2021 Triumph Tiger 850 Sport Road Test Review But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide the latest information about motorcycle news and update. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Manufacturers sometimes make peculiar choices when naming motorcycles. Despite its name, the new for 2021 Triumph Tiger 850 Sport has the same engine size, 888cc, as the Tiger 900 GT and Tiger 900 Rally. And even though it has Sport in the name, the 850 actually makes less horsepower. On Jet Tuning's dyno, the Tiger 850 made 82.1 horsepower and 58 pounds to foot of torque at the rear wheel, which is 7.6 horsepower and 1.4 pounds to foot of torque less than the Tiger 900 Rally Pro we tested last year. Designed to be the most accessible Tiger in terms of power, torque, specification, and price, simply calling it the Tiger 900 probably makes more sense. With a base price of $11,995, the Tiger 850 Sport costs $2,705 less than the Tiger 900 GT and $3,405 less than the Tiger 900 Rally. Its main competitors are street-oriented adventure bikes like the BMW F750Gs, which is actually an 850, base price, $10,995, the BMW F900XR, $11,695, and the KTM 890 Adventure, $13,099. Triumph detuned the Tiger 850's engine to comply with A2 licensing requirements in Europe. It was able to hit a lower price point by foregoing an inertial measurement unit, IMU, and multimode cornering optimized ABS and traction control in favor of a more conventional non-switchable ABS and switchable traction control setup. The Tiger 850 Sport has fewer riding modes, only road and rain, and the Marzaki suspension adjustability is limited to rear preload. Other nips and tucks include a 5-inch TFT display instead of the 7-inch TFT the Tiger 900s, and there's no cruise control, quick shifter, self-canceling turn signals, or center stand. The Tiger 850 Sport is hardly a bargain bin special. It's equipped with premium Brembo-style Mamano block front calipers, a radial front brake master cylinder, a slip-slash-assist clutch, a dual-height seat, 31. 9 30 seconds point 7 inches, a hand-adjustable windscreen, full LED lighting, a 12-volt power outlet, and a luggage rack. Its curb weight is a manageable 474 pounds, and we averaged 219 miles of range from the 5.3 gallon tank. Inline triples are a signature feature on Triumphs as diverse as Tiger Adventure bikes, the Speed Triple Naked Sport Bike, and the Rocket 3 Muscle Cruiser. The Tiger 850 has what Triumph calls a T-plane crankshaft, see illustration below, with a 1-3-2 firing order. After cylinder 1 fires, the crank turns 180 degrees, cylinder 3 fires, the crank turns 270 degrees, cylinder 2 fires, the crank turns 270 degrees, and so on. The irregular firing sequence gives the engine the feel of a twin down low and the character of a triple from the midrange on up. Power increases linearly to 7000 revolutions per minute then plateaus at around 80 horsepower until the 10,000 revolutions per minute redline, see dyno chart below. There's a broad spread of torque, with 80% or more of peak torque available between 2400 and 9100 revolutions per minute. A balancer shaft quells most of the engine's vibrations, but overall it feels more coarse than some of Triumph's other triples. Rain mode dulls throttle response, but in road mode the right grip delivers precise throttle inputs with no stutters or hiccups. Other than a fair amount of heat felt on the left side, there's little to complain about with the Tiger's engine. As I've written in previous reviews, Triumph's design and engineering philosophy imbues its motorcycles with a user-friendliness that makes its bikes, even those I've never ridden before, feel familiar and intuitive. The Tiger 850 Sport is no exception. Its ergonomics are comfortable, its fit and finish are at a high level, and its handling strikes a good balance between agility and stability. Response and feel at the front brake lever are excellent, the slip-slash-assist clutch is light and smooth, and the transmission shifts with minimal effort. The fork dives under hard braking, but generous suspension travel and comfort-oriented damping settings provide good ride quality and a range of riding conditions.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.